Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So a couple of months ago, after I'd come back from QuakeCon, I decided to stream a game that I'd found there that at the time had been in beta called Alluris. A little fantasy game where you kind of choose your own adventure by flipping cards. Don't know why I'm going like this so much. Well, Alluris is now in its full release and I wanted to go ahead and play it for you guys. Now the devs of Alluris were super kind to me after the stream and sent me Alluris for free. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just genuinely wanted to play it again. And me and Ryder have been playing it like a little bit in our free time. So I've made like a little bit of progress, unlocked a few things, you know? Obviously we're going to be starting fresh here as you do in Alluris. But I just wanted to go ahead and play it again now that it's in its full release and see what's all in it. Okay, so I did say that me and Ryder had made a little bit of progress in it and had unlocked some stuff, but it actually looks like now we have a blank save, which is actually a good thing because I didn't know at the time if I was going to be recording this or not. So I went ahead and unlocked some stuff, but now we'll be able to just unlock it all together. But it also kind of sucks because now we can't play as an elf. And we know how I am. So yeah, I think the only race we have unlocked right now is human. It does look like there's a fae now, which is exciting. And I think we only have the farmer background. Yeah, me and Ryder had unlocked a, a good amount of these. But it's fine. Blank canvas, it's a good thing. Uh, we'll be Aurelian Bulger. Why not? A great name. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. And maybe if this character dies, you know, after we unlock Elf, it won't be such a bad thing. I don't know if this is going to be a series or not. If you guys are interested in it, then maybe it will be. But there is a whole lot more for us to do now. Now... We probably want to be a good person. That's generally the the route I'd like to take. I'll let my uncle go with me, you know? I should probably be reading these out. The cart is attacked by an orc. Your uncle yells for you to run. We are going to run because they are level four and we are level one. By the time you get help, your uncle is badly wounded, but you finish off the creature. Your uncle remarks that the creatures from the mountains where Baron Dread is building an army. Naturally, that's who we're trying to defeat, so. Maybe we'll actually get around to that this time, now that we can. Now here we are at Alluris. Let's go ahead and bring our uncle to the tavern, you know? Probably needs that. You drag your uncle to the tavern. He tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches on Alluris. They'll need to be extremely powerful, though. That they will. Let's go ahead and get a room with the uncle, though. Let him rest a little bit. As you settle down for the evening, your uncle hands you his treasure he wanted to sell. He tells you it's for your birthday, and you should sell it here in town. Okay, we will go ahead and sell that. From here on, you're on your own, but Baron Dread is out there, and you don't have much time. Okay, well, I guess we shouldn't just rest again. Music store? The shopkeeper offers you a deal off on an old loot. I feel like this is probably how you get the bard class, and I want to unlock stuff. I don't know how much money that's going to be, though. Oh, a lot. Oh, that hurt. Okay. You pay the shopkeeper and retrieve your loot. It's beautiful, but you have no idea how to play. Maybe I can figure out. The baker perks up as you walk by. We're only a little bit hurt, but we should probably go ahead and heal. Yeah, that was cheap anyway. What a cheap yet filling delicacy. And there's definitely already new stuff, because I hadn't seen that one before. Maybe it's time to get back on the road? I guess so. You come across a merchant whose cart has fallen apart. Let's help him repair it. That hurt us a little bit, <laughs> but it helped us level too, so. The merchant gives you some of his wares for free before writing off his things. Okay, we can sell that later. As you walk down the road, you come across a carefully prepared picnic basket of fruit. Let's take that with us. The dunes. Oh, that is new. Before you lay an endless desert wasteland. This is probably dangerous, we're probably gonna die, but I'm gonna enter. You see an oasis among the large dunes. Walk towards it. You safely arrive at the oasis. Okay, good. Spring water. That looks refreshing. We're a little bit hurt, so let's drink some. Okay. Message in a bottle. How did this get here? Of course let's read it. Come on. We're here to adventure. If you're reading this, it means that I'm already too late. Bring this to my parents in Bradford. They may know what to do. Oh, I'm so happy to be getting to new stuff. This is so exciting. Stallion. There's a stallion peacefully waiting. Attempt to tame it. Oh. Okay, okay. Hold on. You're holding on as best as you can. Pet him. Let's be nice. The stallion eventually calms down. It views your composure in uncertain situations as deeply soothing. That's good. The horse has finally calmed down. Take it with you. Okay, we have a horse. That's good and useful. Time to leave the oasis? I don't know, let's stay here for a little bit. 
Mysterious flower. Something about this flower seems very different. Take it? You have no idea what it does, but you decide you might as well take it. Okay. Let's stay here. What else is there? R let's heal. Yes. Now let's go ahead and head out. Ancient pyramid. As wide as it is pointy. We're only level three. But sure. You wander towards the pyramid. When you take a step inside, the door slams behind you. You're trapped. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Two doors. You come across a room with only two doors. The right door looks friendlier. You're safely transferred to another chamber, but the door seals behind you. Let's stick to the right. Oh no, we, we were hurt. You walk through the door, but it seals behind you and there's no way out. The room starts filling with water and eventually flushes you. Oh, okay, out into the desert. That's fine. Or is it? <laughs> a massive sandworm emerges from the ground and makes a loud noise. Run away. The worm looks at you sadly as you walk away before returning to its hole. Did it want something else? I don't know. Let's go. Let's, yeah, ride on our horse to the oasis. Let's drink some of that water. Okay, yeah, drink some more, sure. Let's go swimming. Oh, you take a moment to swim around and respect the untouched beauty of this place. Oh, is that it? Okay, I guess let's leave. Sand merchant. A man stands in the middle of the dunes. He's trying to sell sand. Mm, why would I want sand? We don't have that much money. Hey, sand is going to be a big business. You're making a huge mistake not getting it on the ground floor. What, do you not like money? There's sand everywhere, man. I don't want to go back in there. I feel like we're too low level. Dune riders. There appears to be a dangerous, albeit exciting, dune race going on. Let's see what it's all about. No one seems to want to talk to you. You stick around and watch the race anyway. You find it hard to look away from the frenet frenetic nature of the race. Canod, as dynamic as it is dangerous? I guess let's head to the city. The guards charge you a new visitor fee. Oh, it was very expensive. Hmm. Which you're pretty sure they made up. Yeah. As you enter the gates, there are merchants yelling, orphans in the streets, and large in- lar Large! Large intimidating guards. Right. Well, we're not hungry, so... Oh, we could steal or warn the guards of the questionable meat. Meat source unknown. I guess we'll warn the guards, because I don't really want to steal some and get thrown in jail. Do you think we have time for you, stranger? The merchant hands the guard a kebab for free to look the other way. Yeah, okay. Sultan's proclamation. He looks upset just because he had to wake up for this. Let's hear what he has to say. Today I don't like belts. Everyone wearing belts will pay a fine. You look down at your belt and then a guard grabs some of your coins. What? Oh, this place sucks. Vegetable merchant, attempting to sell his old potato bags. Why would I want a potato bag? I, yeah, I can't afford it anyway. A potato bag, you say? These are the hottest designer trend of the summer. And here in Kanad, it's always summer. Great. City baker, oh, we can steal some bread. Okay, we did. That hurt our karma a little bit, but there we go. Guard barracks, an intimidating looking structure filled with equally intimidating looking people. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Let's head back to the dunes. This place kind of sucks. I don't want your sand van. Get out of here. I kind of want to get back to a different area because obviously I need to try to unlock elves. We know how it is. Let's see if we can find our way out of here though. Ah, yes. Head back to the road. There we go. Let's do some hunting. After a small search, you don't find any good creatures to eat. Of course. <gasps> the forest. I can't remember exactly how you unlock elf, but like this seems more correct, so we'll enter the forest. A bear appears from behind a bush. <gasps> Give the bear your picnic basket of fruits. Yes, do that. The bear loves your picnic basket and starts following you. We're Corellian, we have lady now, yay. Overgrown grove. It sounds like a battle is happening inside all these vines. Uh, attempt to crawl inside. <laughs> After several minutes of concerted effort, the vines are too tight to climb under or over. The fighting continues inside. Well, I guess we can attack these rats and try to level up. Your bear leads you to a tree with a beehive in it. Yeah, let's try to get some for the bear. It seems to have upset the bees, but you grab some honey and continue on your journey. Okay, good, that healed us too. Let's stay here though. Terrible, that's, that's too big. Nope, 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 we're leaving, we're leaving. Let's take more fruit with us, I guess. You find a particularly aerodynamic stone. We're not gonna be able to pick it up yet. I know what this is, but we can't do it yet, sadly. Tree in the road, uh, let's, yeah, tie the log to your horse. Try to get that out of the way. There we go. 
Highwayman. Right, we're level three, so maybe we can attack them? Yeah, okay. Farmers hiding on roadside. Something looks like it spooked these folks. Follow their frantic pointing? Ore crawler. That's an unsettling creature. Yes, indeed. I guess let's fight it. Ooh, we're pretty hurt. You smash the creature. The farmers are safe from its unholy scuttling. Though they don't have any gold to pay you, instead you take a barrel it was wearing. Or take the barrel it was wearing. Okay, that works. It'll probably come in handy, you know. I guess let's go ahead and head back to Alluris, though. Oh, this is new. Alluris Royal Castle. It appears as though there is a large party going on. Go peer in through the gates? What a fabulous looking party. The queen looks noticeably bored by the festivities, though. Oh, well, I <laughs> guess that was it. Oh, can we afford a room? Oh, barely. The tavern is where deals happen. It could pay to hang around. Yeah, let's hang around then. A cloaked man catches your eye. He stands and quickly walks to you, handing you a letter and keeling over dead. You pull back the hood. He has the red skin of some kind of demon. Oh, I guess we'll read the letter. The letter says that the man was Adam Carxius, and you don't have much time. His daughter was kidnapped by Baron Dred's men and taken into the mountains. He's enclosed a map. Please save her. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is how you unlock tieflings. So, if we come across the mountains, we should definitely go in them. The fair, there's a large fair going on. Do you attend? Why not? We definitely did all of this in the streams, so... Maybe not the cannon. Maybe not yet. We can try the sword exhibition, though? Okay. We're the fair sword champion. We actually did it. That's good. Let's try to joust. We have a horse. I came here to heal and now I'm just getting hurt, but you know, I'm leveling a bit, getting some money. Okay, also the jousting champion. That's good. Why not try archery? You definitely shoot the bullseye earning you a cash prize, but not the, not the champion though. Let's go ahead and buy a mug that'll heal us up. That's good. Now I do know if you become the champion, you do get something that's pretty useful, like the champion of the whole fair. So let's stay at the fair for now. Let's try ring toss. Nope, not enough, not enough. Don't want to do the cannon yet. That'll be like the last one we try. Don't need me to... Let's try the archery again. No. Wait, I had to pay for a soul. I think I shot someone. I went past it too fast. <laughs> oh no. Give it a go again. You don't manage to score enough points to win a prize. Oh, I'm just wasting money now. Ah, try a ring toss. Dang it. No, it's taking all my money. One more time. Yes. Okay, that gave us some back, but still not the champion. We'll try next time. <laughs> Guard captain, an armored man approaches you, demanding information about the Undercity. i never heard of it. <laughs> he straightens his jacket and apologizes, marching off to harass the next pedestrian. Okay, me and Ryder had something to do with that, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Shady figure. A shady figure walks up to you and offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a price. I will pass. We finally have a little bit of money. You're lost, he says, phasing away. Church monks. You come upon a group of town monks. Mm, I guess we'll donate. Mm, we don't want to get our karma too high though or we'll be attacked by a demon. That's something that happens. So maybe we should do something a little mean. An old sailor approaches you in the tavern. He needs a guard to protect his ship from pirates out at sea. Okay, you can unlock some stuff from this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Even though it's not exactly where we are heading. If we do another episode of this, then you know, maybe we'll get the elves or the tieflings or something. It's all up to you guys and if you want to see some more. But we're going with the sailor. He leads you to his ship. His crew loads up for an ocean voyage. An older man sprays himself down with pirate repellent. What did you just sign up for? Huh. The ship passes over a delectable school of fish. I guess cast the nets? Right, that heals you. Makes sense. Pirate attack! A pirate ship dashes in from the mist. Their crew prepares to fire on you. Guess we're fighting. That wasn't so bad. You and the crew board the pirate ship. Together you fight the pirates back, but soon their captain arrives on deck. Now for the real fight. Oh no, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. Oh, okay, we did, but we're very hurt. We need some fish now. You dive into combat, desperate to save the ship. In the fighting, you snatch a map off the pirate captain. Okay, okay. Ooh. You find a landmark on the pirate map you found. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for that yet, no. Siren Island. You hear a playful yet dangerous melody. I don't know, this is new. I want to investigate. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just feel like you need to see what's happening over there. As you float closer, the world fades to black as you're pulled underwater. Sometime later, you flop onto the shore of an island. <gasps> oh, okay, this is new, this is new. I'm so excited, but we're very hurt. We should definitely not try to swim away. We're stuck. Soft beach, this could be a great opportunity to scavenge. I guess let's go ahead and salvage for supplies. 
Dig up an old tattered map. All right. I guess let's read the map. We're really hurt though. It looks like a map of the island with a circle over the entire western half. Clearly this treasure was hidden from everyone, even those who buried it. I see. The shipwreck must have been here for some time. Let's gather food, I guess. Oh yeah, it would have been spoiled, huh? You do find a large mean looking fish that got itself trapped in between two planks though. Let's eat the fish. <laughs> We're really hurt. We needed food. Dangerous looking path. This must go to the center of the island. Let's stick outside until we heal a little bit. Monkeys. They seem to be hunting for bananas. Uh, see if I can find some? Banana bushel. They look quite appetizing. I'm gonna eat it even though the monkeys want it. I need to heal. Large tree. This tree could have so many uses. Time for a coconut. Okay, I figured I'd eat it, but we just have a coconut now. Pathway around island. Do you want to go to the western shore? Sure. Treasure chest. Oh, this must be the treasure. Okay, let's get the loot. It hurt us. <laughs> of course. You open the chest and a bunch of small spiders come out. You think the treasure map would lead to treasure. How cliche. A note reads on the bottom. Thanks for that one. I guess let's look for more supplies. A conch shell and a musical instrument. Okay. Guess we didn't need to buy the other musical instrument then, did we? Let's open this treasure chest. Oh, okay. It actually did. Give us something. You remember what happened last time and instead chose to flip it over this time. It reads 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. How odd. That is odd, okay. I guess let's gather wood this time? Great. Ow! A splinter! You spend some time gathering what you could from the ship. Just as you grab the last plank, the whole thing falls apart and floats off to sea. But we have wood now, so that's good. <laughs> uh, as you dig around the beach, you pull up a treasure chest. You help yourself to some loot. Okay, that's good, that's good. I guess we can try to go to the center of the island. The sign warned you that the most dangerous creatures were towards the center of the island. Still, you're not dissuaded. Maybe not the best idea. Oh yeah. Poisonous frog! Fight it! Ouch! Metallic grate. It has some kind of padlock on it? Oh, I have the code. The loud click, the grate opens. You proceed down a ladder into a massive underground cove. I don't think we're high enough level for this. But let's go look at this ship in the cove. It must have been a pirate ship at one point. Mysterious. The crew has all disappeared. The ship has seen years of age entombed in this cove. Okay, ship's hole. The ship appears to be mostly holes. Oh, I can repair it! Oh, I can leave. Oh. <laughs> I see, yeah. This chest seems quite plain. Who's a good chest? What? I am the chest yelps. Oh no. Talking chest! Oh my god, it speaks. What's your name, chest? The name's Chester. Sure to know him. I once sailed the high seas searching for adventure wherever I could find it. Now I'm stuck in this cave. This is an increasingly strange conversation. I'm gonna get us out of here, Chester. How are you gonna do that? The ship won't go. The cave is blocked in and all I have are pegs. I'll, I'd hardly make a good crew. Noticeably excited. We'll, we'll work it out. Hooray! Chester takes your plan at face value and decides to join you on your adventure. This is amazing! Oh my god. Head back up the grate? I guess we should. Gold mine? It must have stopped production long ago. I didn't look around. I see. <laughs> the cave is dry. The miners left some TNT behind. You decide to take it. You never know when something is going to be blowing up. Okay. Oh, run from the frog. We, we, we don't want to fight. Just run. Just run. Coconut. Build a campfire. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Guess let's just relax and enjoy nature and try to get back to that cove then. There we go. Old loom. He's for making large fabrics. Maybe with a coconut husk. Well, I had a coconut, but... Investigate? If you had some kind of fiber, you'd probably be able to weave it together and make something useful. Oh, do I need to make a sail? I used my coconut! No! Stones blocked the way out of the cave. Blast them. There we go. Hurt us a little bit, but that's okay. You place the sticks of TNT around the rocks. You blow the stones. They come raining down all around the cave and one hits you. When the dust settles, the path is clear. The sail is a husk, yep, of what it once was. Investigate, I guess? The sail isn't salvageable. You're going to need to weave a new one. But how? Probably by going to get a coconut. I guess we can try to fight. Mm, we 
need to level a little bit. You find a set of small holes and dig for crabs. After a few moments, the ground shakes and an enormous metal crab appears. Great, guess we're fighting it. Ah, eat the bananas. Was the coconut tree not over here? Hmm. Dang it, another big crab. <laughs> I guess let's go to the other side. Yes, okay, climb for a coconut. There we go. Eat more bananas and let's head back. And see if we... Yes, there we go. Make a sail. You slip when you go to finish the sail, and the loom shreds it to pieces. Looks like you're gonna need more coconuts. Oh. I guess that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get multiple coconuts. And we'll also try to level. I should probably try to, like, befriend the monkeys or something. I keep just eating the bananas. <laughs> Let's, yeah, take some bananas with me. These might come in handy later. Yeah, like right now. Give them your bananas. The monkeys are incredibly happy. They're offering up bananas. They decide to join you on your adventure. Okay, I have a monkey crew. That's also useful, I need a crew. Don't know how useful monkeys are gonna be, but you know. I just need to find some more coconuts. Oh no. I thought I would get more coconuts from this. Mm. Well, should we try again? It said we needed more coconuts, but does that mean we just need to try again with more coconuts or we need multiple coconuts on us? I guess we'll try it again. Make a sail. Okay, that worked. With extremely quick thinking, you use the loom to weave together coconut husks. It's extremely exhausting work, but in the end, you have a sail fit for a ship. That's good, maybe we can get out of here. Monkey crew, sail. Point at your sail, and then point up. Okay, your monkeys get the memo and get to work. In seconds, the monkeys are all in place. When they get done, you sit back with them and marvel at what you've done. All right. I guess set sail! There we go! Achievement unlocked sea turtles. You burst out of the cove back into the ocean. You look over at Chester. He is brimming with excitement for the adventure to come. Alright, we have a ship. You find a landmark on the pirate map you found, but we're still not high enough level, I think. Let's eat the fish, though. The wreck of a ship floats on the waves. I guess let's investigate? Oh no, it's a storm. In a moonless night, the ocean kicks up a terrible gale. Chester? Chester does something? The two of you are definitely not going back to that island together. Or together, you lash down the sails and hold on through the storm. Okay, I guess it was either way. We could go back to Alluris now? Should we? I'm kind of having a good time out here. I want to level so that maybe we can go to this cove, but I don't know if anything's going to let us level. So I try the monkey crew this time. Oh no. You try to yell commands at the crew, but they're going bananas. The storm overtakes your vessel, casting you to the sea. No! Oh, Red Alaris. Our ship! Ah, uh, I guess let's crawl to the tavern. We don't even need a room, though, to be honest. Sell all our treasure. Promises to pay well for a guard, but it might be dangerous. Well, I guess we're going back out to sea. Yeah, we have Chester, so we're fine in the storms. Baby Kraken? I went on to the shipwreck. It's adorable, but it could be bad news. Bring it with you. I guess. <laughs> yeah, we have a baby kraken now, that's good. Should we just go into the cove? Let's just go in. I just wanna unlock some stuff, you know? The map leads you into the pirate cove. Ships jut from the walls of this hidden pirate fortress. As you step off the boat, you're confronted by the pirate king. You're on his turf now. Defend, your foe makes an attack. <gasps> oh, barrel, block, I can block with my barrel. Blow destroys your barrel, okay. Hanging rowboat, overhead of rowboat, loosely swings on ropes. Swing on the boat. <laughs> You leap up and grab the edge of the rowboat, swinging to the high ground. You'll get a free attack from up here. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Bear companion, claws, it's all coming together. Your foe makes an attack. Oh no, oh no, yep, oh no. Let's try to climb inside, that, that time it hurt us. You jump up and grab the side of the boat, but as you try to climb in, your hands keep slipping off and you tumble to the floor. Okay, well, let's have our bear attack again. Defend, we don't really have a lot against that. We're probably gonna die. Let's swing on the boat! You jump up, fingers falling just shy over the edge of the boat. You flop over the king's head and land prone on the other side. He'll get a free attack. No, we're probably gonna die. Let's try it again, though. He'll get a free attack. We're dead, man. We're dead. Climb inside. Yep. No, no, no. You're dead. Your journey has come to an end. Start again. No! Oh, I feel like we were doing so good, but I knew we shouldn't have gone in there yet. But that's fine, because I think that's a pretty good spot to leave the episode off anyway. If you want me to play more of this game, maybe try to actually unlock the elves or see what else we can unlock. 
do let me know, perhaps, you know, by leaving the video a like. If you want to help support the channel, maybe consider checking out my coffee or Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.